One spark in the woods can set off massive forest fires. Lightning can do that naturally. The flick of a burning cigarette can do it. And so can a trace around fired down range. Weeds and bushes that grow between the trees are fuel for potential wildfires. Prescribed burns are a preemptive step used to prevent these out of control forest fires. Our number one mission on Fort Stewart is support third ID and its training mission. Also 48th Brigade or any other units that may be deployed at Fort Stewart for training. And an integral part of that is burning the woods and safety in the ranges for uh, for fire safety so that we don't have out of control wildfires so that the third ID and other units can continue to train while they're here. You may have heard the phrase controlled burn before. That's popular terminology for what our forestry branch does, but it's a little misleading. There's no such thing as a completely controlled fire, but prescribed burns are as safe as humanly possible. This reservation is 280,000 acres, and we burn anywhere from 80 to 100,000 acres at different times of the year. And when you get that many acres, uh, when you get that much fire on the ground, you know sometimes things go wrong. But here we are pretty on, pretty well on top of things. And, and a prescribed burn starts with first making sure that the area to be burned is clear for burning. There must be no training going on near the area, and no people camping anywhere near it. The area can't be an endangered species habitat either. All of this is checked prior to burning. There are two parts to the actual burn. First, a baseline fire is set around the perimeter of the burn. Then a helicopter flies over the burn area and drops little balls filled with chemicals that ignite on contact with the ground. It doesn't take long before the whole area is burning. Prescribed burns are necessary to make Fort Stewart's many firing ranges safe for continuous training. Well, prescribed burning basically is a training multiplier. It allows us to train year-round with tracers without having to worry about range fires. Uh, since September 11th, 2001, we have fired about 31 million rounds on Fort Stewart, and we have not lost one training day because of the fires that tracers and other um, pyrotechnics and rounds basically cause. If you've had some smoke getting in your eyes or if you've had to wash a few ashes off of your car, it's all for a good purpose. Preventing wildfires is a year-round mission for Fort Stewart's forestry branch, but it's not foolproof. Remember what Smokey says, only you can prevent forest fires. For the Marn Report, I'm Don Bricky, Fort Stewart, Georgia.